Good day, our lovely young scientists. I am Sir Lark. It's nice to see you again. And I hope you are all good. Welcome, Welcome to, to my class. <laughs> Before going to our lesson, let's have a review. Can you explain what's in this picture? Yes, very good. It is the water cycle. Water cycle shows the continuous movement of water within the earth and the atmosphere. It is a complex system that includes many different processes. Liquid water evaporates into water vapor, condenses to form clouds, and precipitates back to earth in the form of rain and snow. Let's start our lesson for today. At the end of the video lesson, you should be able to identify the human activities that affects the ecosystem, explain the positive and negative effects of the human activities on the ecosystem, and give the desirable practices to conserve the environment. Direction. Provide the correct letters on the spaces to complete the following words. For example, are you familiar with this word? Clue number one. The surroundings or conditions in which a person, animal, or plant lives or operates. Clue number two. The natural world as a whole or in a particular geographical area, especially as affected by human activity. If your answer is environment, you got it right! <laughs> How about this one? Are you familiar with this word? Clue number one, it is a branch of biology. Clue number two, the study of organisms, the environment, and how the organisms interact with each other and their environment. If your answer is ecology, you got the correct answer. How about this one? Can you guess the title of this song? Clue number one. It is a Tagalog song. Clue number two. The composers of these songs are Pendong Aban and Saro Banyares and sing by Asin. If your answer is mas dan mo ang kapaligiran, you did a great job! Did you know the song, Mas dan mo ang kapaligiran by Asin? I think most of you already know this song. Now, let's try to listen and understand the song in this video. Sa iyong mga kapaligiran Kahit dumi na 
ng hangin pati na ang mga ilog natin Hindi nga masamang pagkulat at malayo-layo na rin ang ating narating Ngunit masdan mo ang tubig sa dagat dati kulay asul Ngayon'y naging itin Ang mga duming ating ikinalat sa hangin Sa langit, huwag na nating paabutin Upang kung tayo'y pumanaw man sa riwang hangin Sa langit natin matitikman Lang akong hinihiling Sa aking pagpanaw Sana ay tagulan Kitara ko ay aking dadalhin Upang sa ulap na lang tayo magkantahan Sinilang, may hangin pa kayang matitikman May mga puno pa kaya silang aakyatin May mga ilog pa kayang nalamuyan Bakit di natin pag-isipan Ang nangyayari sa ating kapaligiran Hindi nga masamang pagulat Kung hindi nakakasira ng kalikasan Darating ang panahon Mga ibong dala Ay wala nang madadakuan Masdan mo ang mga punong dati Ay kay katag ngayon'y namamatay Dahil sa ating kalukuhan Lahat ng bagay na narito sa lupa Biyayang galing sa Diyos kahit nung ika'y wala pa Ingatan natin at huwag nang sirain pa Pagkat pagkanyang linawi tayo'y mawawala na Sa aking pagpano, sana ay tahunan Gitara ko ay aking dadalhin Upang sa ulap na lang tayo magkantahan Based on your own understanding, what was the song all about? Yes, very good. You are all correct. The song is all about our environment and how human activities affects our ecosystem. For the last question, why do you think the writer of the song composed this? To whom he or she dedicated this song? Yes, you are all correct. The writer of the song composed this wonderful piece in order for everyone to be aware of what's happening now in our environment. Let us learn more about our lesson. Humans, as an integral part of the ecosystem, do many activities that disturb its natural balance. Ways of farming Monoculture is a farming system where only one crop is grown year after year 
on the same piece of land. Since the cultivation of different plants is limited, many animals are deprived of their food and home, thus they move to other places in order to survive. Planting the same crop in the same place each year destroys nutrients from the earth and leaves soil weak and unable to support healthy plant growth. On the other hand, monoculture resulting higher yields, lowering the amount of extra land required and more efficient for the farmer. Application of Herbicides and Pesticides Farmers use pesticides, the chemicals that kill fungus, bacteria, insects, snails, slugs, and others, while herbicides are used to destroy or to terminate undesirable plants or weeds. Some herbicides will kill all the plants they touch, while others are designed to target one species. It controls the weeds in growing and causes higher crop yields. The application of those chemicals can cause toxicity and pollution in the air, water, and soil. Deforestation is the permanent destruction of indigenous forests and woodlands. People cut down trees to build new homes and it leads to the loss of natural habitats. Forests and woodlands act as major carbon stores. Removing these stores means that carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere will rise. Deforestation allows modernization and industrialization which in return produces more job opportunities. Its negative effects are changing in the climate, desertification, soil erosion, flooding, and lower crop yields. In 2010, Philippines had 13.2 million hectares of natural forests, extending over 62% of its land area. In 2020, it lost 46.8 kilo hectares of natural forests, equivalent to 27.4 million tons of carbon dioxide of emissions. From 2001 to 2020, Philippines lost 1.29 million hectares of tree cover, equivalent to a 6.9% decrease in tree cover since 2000, and 753 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions. Overhunting is the activity that results in a serious reduction of the species population. People continue to depend on wildlife for their needs. They hunt, capture, or kill more animals for food and causes animal extinction and habitat destruction. Pollution is the introduction of harmful materials into the environment. These harmful materials are called pollutants. They can also be created by human activity such as improper waste disposal or throwing off runoff produced by factories. Pollutants damage the quality of air, water, and land. Exposure to pollutions may cause harmful effects and lead to chronic respiratory diseases. On the other hand, some ways trash materials are recycled and used as decorations. Of the 30 most polluted cities in the world, 21 were in India in 2019. Ambient air pollution in India is estimated to cause 670,000 deaths annually and particularly aggravates respiratory and cardiovascular conditions including chronic bronchitis, lung cancer, and asthma. In India, the exact prevalence of asthma remains elusive. The World Health Organization reports that India harbors about 15 to 20 million asthmatics and of these, 10% to 15% are children. Almost 3 out of every 100 adults in India are affected with asthma. Land Conversion Land conversion 
is the act of changing the current use of an agricultural land into non-agricultural use as approved by the DAR or the Department of Agrarian Reform. The act of process of changing the current physical use of a piece of agricultural land into some other use or for another agricultural use other than cultivation of the soil, planting of crops, growing trees including harvesting of produce therefrom as approved by the Department of Agrarian Reform 2002. Land conversion causes habitat destruction lower crop production, and land degradation. It has also positive effects on our economy in producing factories, buildings for many job opportunities. Desirable practices to conserve ecosystem. Number one, forest conservation, reforestation. Number two, recycling. Number 3. Proper waste disposal Number 4. Reducing water consumption And Number 5. Create public awareness Alam niyo ba na ang San Vicente National High School ay naglunsad ng isang proyekto na tinatawag na Project WOW or War on Waste in the New Normal sa pakiisa ng ating mga barangay officials. Ang layunin ng proyekto ay mapanatili ang kaayusan sa wastong pagtapon ng basura hindi lamang sa paaralan kundi pati sa ating mga tahanan malaking bagay ito upang makatulong tayo sa ating kalikasan at mabawasan ang mga problema na dulot ng basura Let's try to do this activity Please prepare your notebook or on a separate sheet of paper Ball pen or pencil in order for you to answer the following activity. Let's start. Directions. Write true if the sentence is correct and write false if it is incorrect. Let's begin. Number one. All human activities depend directly on the environment. True or false? The answer is true. All human activities depend directly on the environment. Number 2. Urbanization does not cause biodiversity loss. True or false? The answer is false. Urbanization can cause biodiversity loss. Number 3. Humans are dependent on the environment for survival. True or false? The answer is true. Humans are dependent on the environment for survival. Number 4. Reforestation is the permanent destruction of indigenous forests and woodlands. True or false? The answer is false. Deforestation is the permanent destruction of indigenous forests and woodlands. Last number. Monoculture is the practice of growing only one type of plant in a single space or plantation. True or false? The answer is true. Learn a lot from our lesson.
Very good. Me too. I learned a lot in our lesson. Now, on your own, I want you to answer this question. As an individual, what are the things you can do in order to protect and conserve our environment? Before we end up our lesson, I have a song for you. Return to a land called Paraiso, a place a dying river ends. No birds there fly over Paraiso. No space allows the to endure. The smoke squints the air The grass that's never there And if I could see a single bird What a joy you try to write some words And create a simple song to be heard By the rest of the world Paradiso Make a stand, paraiso. Take me by the hand, paraiso. Make the world understand that if I could see a single bird, what a joy to start and angry land could expect some truth. And hope and respect from the rest of the world. Isang malaking hamon sa ating lahat kung paano natin mapapangalagaan ang ating kapaligiran. Ito'y isang malaking responsibilidad na kailangan nating iyakamin lahat. For comments, questions, suggestions, you can email me at lark.mobista at depet.gov.ph or you can directly message me in my Facebook account. Until next time, I am Sir Clark, always reminding you that Science is power. power.